Alright, it's good to start the day off with a little breakfast. The milk was frozen, so we'll see what frozen milk and Cheerios taste like. What's up guys? We made it to Arapaho Basin. And the mountains are looking very beautiful there. There's their little logo, the A on the side of that building. Oh man, the sun is bright. It is about 20 something degrees. And Caleb, are you ready? ready. Yep. Hit you when we're on the top of the slope. Here we are, getting some tickets. This ain't North Carolina anymore, so, boys. I've got three cards. I've got Jason, Eli. What's going on, guys? Got some ski lift vibes going on. It's going to move really fast. And we're getting off soon, so I'm going to have to put this back in my pocket. That goes to the top of the mountain. Got warmed up. I have to put my other glove in my mouth because I don't want to hold my phone with the glove on. So. so let's just do this. Oh, son of a. Ugh, my glove. I tried to bite it and I missed. I made a pretty nice 360 though. So I'm going to put it in my mouth. this black slope called the falcon dude caleb fell there where he skis slid all the way down on his face and now he's just lying there like a dead man it was the funniest thing ever bro i wish i could have gotten it on camera i gotta get a ski now i'm gonna try to slide down i'll probably fall off since i'm starting to film the hardest part is trying to get back on track this is gonna, this is gonna suck. I got so much snow in my face just now. It's literally frozen. Like, can you see that? Looks like I have a goatee. After two hours of vomiting and severe headache. Well, your boys back in some in the room after some unfortunate circumstances. Uh, it all started. Started to be short of breath. Give you guys a nice view for the Started being short of breath, got a headache, started feeling nauseous. So I was like, all right, I'm just gonna have to sit here, man. So I was like, dad, you and Jeb just keep going. I'm just gonna sit on this table. 
So I sat on that table with my head down, just getting slowly worse and worse. And the people here were so inconsiderate, man. They would just walk by and not even ask what I was doing. So then after like 40 minutes of agony, I start hurling chunks, like left and right. And like one guy literally sits down on the table right next to me and just eats his burger and just watches me throw up. He doesn't even care. So I eventually stopped throwing up and then finally some security, some uh, medical guy comes over and he's like, hey bro, are you good? And I was like, yes, I'm, I'm perfectly fine. I was just like surrounded by vomit. He was like, but I actually didn't say that. I was like, yeah, I'm not feeling too good. I think it's altitude sickness. He was like, all right. So he was like, let's just wait for your dad. But then I started getting worse. He told me to drink a lot of water, so I did. And I got to go down the ski slope in a bobsled thingy, which under any other circumstances would have been pretty fun, but I was just feeling kind of bad then. Oh, I'm getting out of breath just telling the story, man. So anyways, at the bottom, I start throwing up again but it's just pure water i'm just barfing up water it was a pretty weird experience so that was bad so i kept trying to drink water and i just kept throwing it up so he had to put an iv in you'll see the video i took like a short video of myself with the iv and he put oxygen in my nose so then we had to wait for everything to find my dad and then we're back down here so didn't get to do much skiing before that went wrong hopefully i'll be better tomorrow and